When selecting your ideal hunting knife, the key things you're going to need to consider are firstly the knife's purpose in relation to its size and weight, how big does it actually need to be to allow you to effectively make your cuts, and what weight are you comfortable carrying. Is it best to be a fixed blade that'll sit in a knife sheath on your hip belt, or a folding knife that you can safely pack away until you need it? What shape of blade suits your intended use? A gradually sloping drop point that is versatile enough for both skinning and cutting meat? Or would you prefer a more special purpose knife like a clip point with a thinner and well-defined point for cutting and slicing meat? Or a blade with a greater curved belly, better suited to skinning, that's less likely to puncture the hide? You'll also need to consider the blade material. Most likely you'll want something corrosion resistant, but how hard does that steel need to be? Keeping in mind that a hard steel will keep its edge longer, but will also be more prone to chipping and tougher to sharpen. Or would you prefer not to sharpen at all and use replacement scalpel type blades? And finally, what type of handle would you prefer? A decorative handle or a more practical and grippy rubber or plastic handle? But ultimately, it's gonna come down to your personal preference about blade shape, what feels good in your hand, and what weight you're prepared to carry. Given most of our game animals in New Zealand are small to medium sized, aside from our wapiti, samba and larger red deer, we personally tend to opt for a compact folding knife with a versatile drop point that can be stowed away safely until we actually need it. In terms of specific models for the Kiwi Hunter, it's still very hard to look past the trusty Gerber Gator drop point folder with the 154cm stainless steel blade. For our lightweight mountain hunts when our knives are mostly cheese cutters, breaking down just one or two animals a trip, we opt for the lighter clip point Gator Mate or drop point LST. Both are still well and truly capable of butchering game animals, admittedly without the same leverage strength of larger knives. Following on from the release of the Vital Folder series with their razor-sharp, exchangeable, surgical-type blades, Gerber has since produced two new models. The Gerber EBS, which features three exchangeable, task-specific blades, a four-inch blade for removing back straps, a three-inch blade for caping and breakdown, and a three-inch multi-purpose serrated blade for tendons and joints and the Gerber Dual Tool System DTS Folding Knife, which as its name suggests, has two blades. A primary blade for all your main skinning and cutting jobs, and a smaller serrated tendon blade that folds out of the handle base for cutting through tendons and joints, which as we all know, destroys your edge when you accidentally run your blade along the hardened bone. To try any of these knives out for yourself in the flesh, head on down to your local Hunting and Fishing New Zealand store and have a chat with their hunting experts.